Hello, spooky friends. So today I'm going to talk about two older B-movie films. And the first one is 1925's The Monster. Um, and it's about an evil scientist that conducts experiments with beliefs that he can revive dead people. So he kidnaps passing motorists to select as his human subjects. This stars Lon Chaney as the scientist, which was very odd watching him play that role. Uh, and something else that's very interesting, it's a silent film. Yes, Lon Chaney in a silent film playing a scientist. How weird is that? Um, it definitely has a creepy vibe. Um, there is some comedy in it. <clears throat> and... It's a very clever film. That's the only, that, that word for some reason came into my mind as I was watching it. I'm like, how clever? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's a very good movie. I'm usually not one to be into silent films, but this film was excellent for a silent film. Uh, definitely give it a watch if that's what you're into um yeah 1925's the monster it is it's great um the acting is very good like i said there is some uh a little comedy in it as well uh but yeah i was just baffled by it lon cheney as a scientist I, this weirded me out um so the next movie that I want to talk about is 1944's House of Frankenstein. This one, oh my gosh, great movie. I loved it. You definitely need to check this one out. A mad scientist recently escapes from an asylum and calls upon Count Dracula, the Wolfman, and Frankenstein to... Uh, get revenge on his enemies. It stars Boris Karloff, but Boris does not play the monster in this film. He plays the escaped scientist. How messed up is that? But it's excellent. He played that role phenomenally. Oh my gosh. Um, Lon Chaney Jr., uh, John Carradine is Dracula in this film. And, of course, Lon Chaney Jr. is uh, the Wolfman. Uh, it is an excellent movie from start to finish. Um, lots of continuity in this film. And by continuity, I mean that the, uh, the characters in their roles... Um, it's like they where they have left off in their previous movies. It, it's excellent. Um, and just the fact that Boris is not playing the monster, it just threw me off completely. Uh, the ending is very suspenseful and fantastic. I love this film. You definitely need to give this a watch. Now, I don't know if you can find these on streaming services. I watched both of these on Turner Classic Movies. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I would definitely recommend these films, especially House of Frankenstein. It is so good. Um, there's no slow parts in it at all. Um, like I said, there's action from start to finish in this film. It does not disappoint. Um, and, and I was shocked by that, you know, because of the time era, uh, 1944, um, it's like I was watching a recent film. I'm not even joking. A recent film that they just shot in black and white. I mean, it, it's that good. You definitely need to give it a, a peek. Um, another thing that I want to talk about with this film is John Carradine playing Dracula. A lot of people don't know that he played Dracula because he didn't play a very good Dracula. Uh, just to be, just to put it out there. Um, but John Carradine does have some films that he plays Dracula. Now, you all know if you've seen my previous films, uh, Bella Lugosi um, is an excellent Dracula. Christopher Lee, though. Oh, Christopher Lee playing Dracula is phenomenal. 
Um, and then there's John Carradine. He's just kind of out there like, hey, don't forget me. Um, but <laughs> yeah, John Carradine's Dracula is not all that great. Uh, anyway, so, but that was beside the point. But I really wish they would have um, gotten Bella to play the role of Dracula for this film. But anyways, uh, definitely give both of those films a look-see. They're definitely worth the watch. Okay, so I know this video was super short, but something was just compelling me to talk about these two films. Um, I don't really have much more um, to say about either of those films, but for some reason I just felt the need that I needed to get this, get those films out uh, and make you aware that they're there and they're good. So definitely give them a watch. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I would also appreciate it if you would subscribe and tell you all of your friends and family to give my channel a look-see. Uh, definitely worth it, I think. So that's going to wrap up today's video. And remember, stay spooky, my friends.